Hey guys! Welcome back! So welcome back to the vlog and for today we are gonna talk about our newly acquired camping gear. So we'll talk about that today and <clears throat> we are a bit excited because you know lately we've been having uh, good weather and I have been watching... Which seldom happens. Yes, exactly. Sorry. <laughs> I just have to say that. <laughs> and lately I've been, you know, watching a lot of um, camping videos which has been actually recommended by YouTube for some reason. So um, it actually has enticed us to, you know, probably think about maybe we can go hiking and possibly camping as yes. well. Spending as... more time outdoors, yes. basically. Yeah, rather than... Um, staying inside of the house and obviously because we can't really travel uh, to other countries as of the moment because of the global pandemic I mean you can but you just have be... to quarantine yeah when quarantine you come back when you come back and it's not really you know um, advisable ad advisable in yeah. our humble opinion yeah. to if, travel if, if you do want to do it by all means you know just protect yourself yes and um, yeah, so let's go! Right. Let's start! Let's start! So, what we've got here, we have actually bought, this is our tent, the Salewa Light Trek 3 person tent. Mm -hmm. And it's actually quite good, not very heavy, oh, not overly heavy, and exactly one of the reasons why we have decided to buy this specific tent. Um, let me see the dimensions. This is a, again a three person tent. The reason why we've got this specific tent is because uh, when we were checking how wide the tents were that we were looking at, a two person tent would be a bit cozy, especially if um, you're trying to go lightweight that's what they were trying to say with the youtube vlogs as well as the other um blogs as well that we have been reading and reviews from other people um it will if you will be going on hiking and camping later on it will take a lot of um, weight on your backpacks or rock sacks if you don't have a lightweight tent obviously lightweight tents come come with a price so we found a nice compromise with this um Three person tent because this is actually just around 2.6 kilograms for a three person tent. I don't think that's very bad. And the construction of material on this one is quite good. Now, for a three person tent, the inside dimensions would be around 165 centimeters, and then the outside one would be 185 by 260. So that's quite a good size, fair size, isn't it? Yeah, quite spacious. Okay, so guys, before we start proceeding, um, talking about our newly acquired gears yeah. for camping, maybe we, it's just fair enough to give you um, an idea of uh, our camping experience, <laughs> if there's any. Yeah. Okay, you... so I'll start. Yeah. I haven't tried camping ever in my life. So I will be for... This will be a first for me. I'm really look, looking forward to it. I've got so many expectations. I've been reading um, loads of blogs and watching vlogs about um, camping videos. But yes, I know we all have, or those who have been camping may have different experiences. It's just good to know what to expect. But personally, I think it will be very fun and exciting. Well, Ryan and I always love to go on adventures. So, mm. yeah, um, that's true. That's, yeah, so um, we are really looking forward to it. Um, I hope, personally, I hope I'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite lucky and glad that Sydney is such a good sport. So, um, <laughs> of course, <laughs> because... I'm a trooper. <laughs> She, she does. Again, the Salewa Light Trek beauty vlog. <laughs> um, so three person tent, it's quite good. Um, the reviews that I have 
read about this tent has been quite good so that's why we decided to buy this one it's got um, 3000 millimeters of waterproofing for the flyer fabric and the floor fabric is around 5000 millimeters I think um, that's very important guys especially here in the UK where you can't really predict the weather so when you check the weather app in the morning it may say it will be sunny the whole day but out of it nowhere change, especially in the mountains it can change yes out of quickly. nowhere it can just rain yeah. out of us you know out of nowhere or so in yeah, a sudden it's, it's better to be prepared you know mm. and I think this is an alpine tent Basing on what I understand is because obviously alpine conditions will be a bit colder. Um, this doesn't have a lot of, um, uh, what do you call that? Like vents. Just the waterproof fabric and not your normal tent where you've got more screen on it mm -hmm. for ventilation. And I think in a way that would be good because, good for us because I tend to be, uh, I tend to feel cold quite easily. Um, I'm not sure about Sydney but... Uh, yeah, I tend to feel cold quite easily. So, I mean, it might work out for us. Who knows? So, shall we open this tent? Yes. 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 So, this tent, actually, I bought it, off, um, on, bought it off online from a site called Bike24. This and is not sponsored, guys. It's not sponsored. This We're just telling you, just in case <laughs> just, um, you're keen on yeah. buying camping gears as well. This is not sponsored because we paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I think Bike24 is a German website, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I bought this tent for 256... Pounds? 0.03, no, euros. Oh, euros, yeah. okay. Which converts to around 231.4 pounds. And I also bought, from that website, the footprint, which cost 46.55 euros, which roughly converts to about 42.08 um pounds for a grand total price of to ten two seven three point forty eight pounds <laughs> let's start to ten so what have you got here okay so first off is this bag which contains our aluminum um poles <laughs> Mm. I was even trying to mask it. I was about to say aluminum foil, aluminum poles. Yeah. Oh so my god. Just got Sorry. Three. Three of these got uh, one. Two. Uh, yeah, three of them. Two and three. You, you can see it. We'll show this to you guys later, later on. on. You'll see so, them in action. Yes. Next, inside the magic bag. It's this little pouch here, which contains your pegs and sticks mm. and the guidelines as well. So yes, yeah, you've got these, here which is quite here good. Here it is, guys. <laughs> because normally, um, in some tents, you, some tents that you buy or you, that you get, you normally have just those um, uh, bent wires at the ends. Uh, as the stake, but this one is actually like a dart, like a triangle thing, and it's all aluminium as well. So it's quite light, yeah. You've got the guy lines as well to make your um, tent more stable, and you can stretch out the fabric to protect yourself properly. All right. Okay. Next up yeah. is this. Yeah. Ooh, footprint. So this is the Light Track Pro 3 footprint that Ryan was talking about earlier. So basically guys, this is a waterproof um, fabric. fabric that we will be placing at the bottom or at the flooring of the tent for more protection, waterproof protection. Yeah, this goes outside the tent, yeah? Yes, so we'll so, show this to you again. So it's on the, basically the contact on the ground and then the tent goes on top of it. Yes. Yeah. Just to make sure that water doesn't come in. And also, it prevents any puncture as well for the tent. Yeah. That's basically another layer of protection for your tent. Yeah. And okay. then another small pouch here, which houses the repair kit. 
So you've got... Ooh. Yes, this is the mesh is what I meant earlier. You know, this tent has less mesh around it. Um, I think it's just at the top end where it should have, based on the photos. So it's, it's got different fabrics on it. Mm, yeah. So you can use, use that. And are all one. these waterproof as well? Yeah. I, I think so, isn't it? Because it's the same fabric as it's the tent. It's basically the same fabric as the tent. Just spare ones. Yeah. Um, For patches, is it? Yeah. Yes, just in case you get a puncture. Just you get, you get punctures. It's got, what else has it got in here? So you have a tube. Ooh, for the pole, for the pole. No, 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 not oh. the pole. I thought um, it's for the pole. Seam sealer. What's the tube for? Sure. We'll see, let's read later on. And then I think there's another one here. Brush. ta -da. Ah, uh, for this. So you can spread this out. Maybe it's for the poles, or not? Yeah, I, I think know. it's for the poles because it looks aluminum. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe I right. don't know. I don't know. Okay, so next one is the tent itself. So, um, we'll show it to you guys later. We'll set it up outside. But yes, this is the tent when we, when you roll it. It's actually all right not heavy not that heavy yeah so yes that's so it we'll show that all to you later on okay now moving on we have got these um sleeping bags yes so this is from mountain warehouse and it's called microlite 950 regular length sleeping yeah. bags so i don't know if you can see that yeah. So we intentionally didn't take the price tag off. We actually bought it on sale, which you guys already know that I love sale items. Sale hunters. Yeah, so it was originally £69.99 and then it was reduced to £29.99 and we bought it for £24.99, which is a very good deal. Yeah, exactly. And this um, particular sleeping bag it's a mummy style sleeping bag. Mm. Um, the reason why we got that was because it actually gives you more warmth compared to the envelope type or the square type at the end. Yeah. Mummy guys is wherein you are... You look like a mummy. You look like a mummy, li like literally. literally. So you, you, everything is covered. We'll show it to you later. Yeah, it does show here anyway as well how it looks yeah. like. And this is... 1.3 kilograms mm -hmm. and again I'm pretty sure you can buy something cheaper as well I think this is just synthetic um, filling in here not down mm. which hence the reason why it's slightly more slightly heavier yeah and obviously down would be more expensive yeah but and since we are just starting out here. We thought we don't necessarily have to invest in all these um, expensive things, yes, isn't it? Yes. I mean, later on, if we do get into this um, hobby, hobby, maybe we will change later on at some point. You never know. Yeah. But as for starter, yeah. this will do. We think this will. Um, this is quite good. One of the major reason why we chose this sleeping bag was uh, because of the temperature that it can protect us from. So. It says here comfort temperature is from 5 degrees to 0 degrees Celsius. Celsius. So we are just thinking that we, we won't really, we're not extreme campers. Mm. So 0 degrees for us is fine because we won't be camping during winter anyway. Mm. So I think for us that's the acceptable range. Not yet, but... <laughs> for now, for now because um, we don't we're just initial, yeah, oh, well, start starting up. up. And also, guys, if you are camping with your partner, boyfriend, mm. girlfriend, um, husband, wife, it's important that you have to check as well for right side and left side so, um, for the bag. Yeah, because this is uh, the particular thing about this uh, sleeping bag is it's got a left-sided zipper and a right-sided zipper, which actually is quite handy because I am left-handed. And the zipper is on my left side, so it's easier for me. And I'm right-handed, right -handed. so it's easier for me on the right side. Yeah. And if you're camping together, like what Sydney says, I said earlier, um, you can actually combine these two. You can zip them up together to make a double uh, sleeping bag. 
yes. which is quite handy because it does give you more um, room. More room if you are the type that gets a bit claustrophobic with a smaller uh, sleeping bag. So yeah, so um, we'll lay them out later on, as, and we'll go outside and show this all to you. Okay. See you. Peace. Guys, we've finished setting up the tent, so we're gonna show you around. Okay? Yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, so we've finished pitching up our tent. Now it's time to get inside. Let's go. The door is here. This one, you can actually pull this up. It's got a little pocket. It has got a pocket, pocket here. And um, then there's another door. So as I was saying earlier, um, this tent only has a little bit of mesh in it. So some tents, the mesh would be coming from up here, uh, from down here all the way up. And sometimes the top is made of mesh as well. Mm. It's just for better ventilation. But since this is, this is an alpine tent, it's got less mesh on it. So obviously less cooler. Yeah. And same for here. This one also has a little mesh pocket. Secret pocket on the side. Open up. Yeah. So that's how it looks like inside. So guys, look at that, yeah? It's actually really spacious, guys. It's quite spacious inside here. So if we, I lie down, if I lie down here, and if Ryan lies down there, there's Some, really enough... Lots of room on the side. Room on the side. Lots of room on my end as well, isn't it? Look. Yeah. And then that room there. It's got tons of room on the side for the bags and boots and all the other stuff yes. and inside this is how it looks like nice. and the top bit that's how it looks like for the top so again it's just a little bit of mesh ventilation and there's another vent which I will show you which actually Sydney will show you go for it Bobby there you go then that opens up nicely down to the side and there's another if you come closer oops there's another zipper here that opens up the mesh from outside so allows more air ventilation yeah. ventilation to come in this is actually really spacious guys really spacious and at the moment it's quite warm as well <laughs> <laughs> really warm i'm sweating now but yes, I'm very happy with the size of the tent. We are very happy. We, I think we've got enough room for ourselves and for our bags. And yes, we're really looking forward to it now. Look at that. Look at that. Right, we'll test it with the sleeping bags inside, okay? Yes. Okay, guys. So we'll test out these Mountain Warehouse sleeping bags. See how they fit inside. Guys, so let's say... It's the next day, morning, you need to cook your breakfast. Obviously, most of the um, tents. tents that you have, have a large vestibule. But this one's only got like what, less than one foot of vestibule. Um, I mean, you can put your bag in there, your boots, that's fine. But if you need to cook, you need to have this further back so that you don't um, damage this, uh, the inner side of your tent, right? So. This one because it's slightly 
uh, less uh, weight. That's why they don't have a lot of vestibule. It's obviously more uh, material, more weight. So they've mm. got, they've developed a clever system. So this one, just because you don't need your sleeping <laughs> bag anymore, you yeah. can just pull it back a bit and then unhook it from here. Unclip it. Actually, you don't even have to unclip it. They say you need to, but as I have seen from some other videos, you actually don't need to. All you need to do is clip it from here and here. And yeah. voila! You'll have, got, yes, good enough space. You've got a lot of space. For cooking. Um, yeah, for cooking. Yes. It's that's, really hot. Now. That's all you need, isn't it? Yes. That's all you need. I mean, you don't need a lot more than that. No. You can come out here, eat, and have no mess inside. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, it's keep, very clever. To keep the inside of the tent clean yep. for sleeping and all. That's it, really. Yes. That's it, guys. So we hope we hope that you like our video video for today. It's really hot. <laughs> really hot. Yeah, so we are very excited to go on a camping Adventure. trip soon. Adventure! Yes, soon <laughs> enough. And of course, as always, we are going to take you guys with us. Yeah, don't yes. forget to like and subscribe and continue to support the video. Yes, and hit the bell button so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. So, see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Bye. Keep safe. Bye.